Good afternoon, everyone. I wanted to hop on and do a quick video on um, SVGs. I had someone in one of my videos comment that they were having problems ungrouping an SVG. Um, so I just decided to hop on here right quick and record a video. I promise you I'm going to try not to be too long. Um, an SVG is called a scalable vector graphic. I'm not going to go into all of the details on that. Basically, it's an image um, that most people use with uh, cutting machines. I have a Silhouette Cameo, so this video will be based on the Silhouette Cameo only. Um, I don't. I know there are crickets and brother cut and scan, and there, there are a lot of other cutting uh, uh, machines, but I have a Silhouette Cameo. First thing you have to realize when dealing with an SVG as far as Silhouette Studios is concerned, you have got to have either the designer edition or you have to have business edition in order to open um, and utilize an SVG. So the basic version, which is what comes with your machine, does not have the capacity to use SVGs at all. So that's one thing. So if you purchase an SVG and you only have the basic edition, it's going to give you an error message and you won't be able to use it. So that's one thing to remember. Second thing as to why I cannot ungroup an SVG is how was this saved? Um, when purchasing SVGs, make sure you're buying them from a reputable source. I've purchased a couple of SVGs that were just really bad. Some of them would not ungroup because that's the way the designer saved it. Um, and some of them were just bad images that were traced. Um, so I know you, you, it only seems like it's a dollar here or two dollars there or three dollars there. But you think about it. If you buy three bad SVGs at three dollars a piece, that's thirty dollars that you've basically thrown away. Um, so just make sure you're purchasing from somebody that has good reviews either on their website or on their Etsy store or you know from from larger companies a lot of my svgs i get from silhouette studios i get a lot of them from handmade by toya um there's a facebook group that i'm in called svgs anonymous most of the svgs i get from there i have not had any problem with them so with svgs it's kind of like this once you find a good person that you can buy from i, I would advise you stick to them if you're going to venture out and try new people, I, I would say get the dollar SVGs first to make sure um, they're good. So anyway, let me do this right quick. I don't want to be here on, you know, all day long because the longer the video is, the more. I would say agitated people tend to get because I hate long videos anyway. So let's open up a couple of them just to kind of give you an idea. So you're going to go to file open. Now, it just depends on where you have your SVGs. Most of mine are in my downloads, I, and that's just where I keep them. So I'm going to open up a few just to kind of give you an example. Um, this one is called Pray On It. I got this, I think, from TTB Designs. So you see this right here. Now we're going to right click. And when you see right click, you go all the way down here. You see ungroup is black. So that means that feature is available. Click ungroup. You've got boxes around each layer. So you got the first gray box for the prey layer and you got the other box for the other layer. Now, the way you know that this is work, you move one layer. You see how that is all together but separate? This is two. Um, and if you want for design purpose, I can go ahead and change the color on this. I'm going to change it to red and put it back where it is. And so like if I'm cutting this on two different color vinyls and I'm going to put this on a T-shirt, this allows me to separate each individual layer instead of cutting this whole layer out in black and then having to cut the whole thing out in red because if you you know if you can't what you'll end up doing is cutting this whole entire out of image out in one color then cutting the whole entire image out again in another color and then taking out what you need which is a waste of vinyl and time whereas at least if you can ungroup it you only cut this out in red you only cut this out in black 
Now, if you want everything to remain black, or if you want it all to remain like this, say you just want to cut it all out in white. Uh, if somebody wants a shirt with, uh, you know, black and red, you can do it like this. But if the next shirt wants it all to be the same color, you're going to drag your mouse over both of them. You're going to right click and you're going to select group. Now, here we are. We have this whole image and it's going to cut just like that. Now, if you're cutting this all out in the same vinyl, it doesn't matter what color the inside letters are because it's, you know, th this is just to allow you to see what it would look like if you change the colors. Whatever color vinyl you put in your cutter is whatever color this image is going to be. So um, here's this one right here. I'm going to open up another one to give you guys another example. Again, I'm in my downloads. Let me see. How did I save that one? All right. And I double click on that one. And here's the SVG down here. Now, see. The way this one was saved, you see she has DFX right here. That's your digital cutting file. Now, that will be used on Basic Edition Silhouette Studio. SVG is what I'm looking for. Now, in this particular image right here, this particular SVG right here, this one is a little different, and I'll show you. I'm sorry. You right-click, but you see here, ungroup is grayed out. Group and ungroup are both grayed out. The reason why this particular SVG here is a single layer image. This was meant to be cut in all the same color, or at least that's how the originator saved it. This is a single layer file. So in this case, you're not going to be able to ungroup this. Now, there is a way that you can separate it and make each individual line a different color, but that, that's a whole lot right now. Um, so, yeah, there's that. So just remember how it's saved determines how you can or cannot ungroup. So let's do another. I'm going to go to File and Open, back to Downloads, and I'm going to open my Play-Doh. This I bought from Handmade by Toy. All right, so you see the image is all nicely grouped together. We want to ungroup this one, so you're going to select the image. You see the box out there. You'll know it's selected. Right-click, ungroup. The way you know your image is ungrouped, you'll see these little bitty boxes around each image, okay? So now we have this layer, we have that layer, and we have this layer. So this image here has three different layers. All right? Um, and if you want to change the colors, now, some people use um, their SVGs for print and cut purposes. Uh, if you're going to do this on um, printable heat transfer vinyl, um, I buy printable heat transfer uh, transfer paper. I use the Jolie brand. A lot of people have had success with the Avery brand. Um, there's a lot of brands out there, but I kind of stick to what I know because every time I try something different, it's always a mess. Now, with that, you can change the color of these images if you're going to use that. So I would change this to green, say if you want it green. And then you put everything back together. If you're going to do a print and cut, a print and cut, it doesn't cut in layers. It prints exactly how this image is. And so then I would take my cursor and drag over all three layers. Right click and group. And that puts everything together. So if I wanted to do a print and cut, it would print the image out just like this. 
All right, now my last one is going to be a little bit more complex. Oh, well, let me go back to downloads. I got to remember that. Wait a minute, hang on. And uh, let's see here. Let me go back. Because, of course, it doesn't want to cooperate. Well, let me see if it'll let me open it from that, and it probably, I may have to just go here from open. Okay, there it is. I apologize. My computer just kind of does whatever it wants to do, and we just have to let it roll. All right, so this is the It's Me Girl. Um, I purchased this from ME Customs. This was a very popular image a couple of years ago. So I'm dragging this one off because these are four different images, four different variations of the girl. I just want to work with one. So I'm going to right click on all of these. Then I'm going to do ungroup. So this has not only separated the four, but it's also separated each girl into her individual layer. So what I'm going to do is drag my mouse over all of the layers and bring it here so you can see it a little bit better. Oh, I'm sorry. But while we're here, you see the boxes around each individual layer that shows you each layer that has been ungrouped or separated and I'll show you. This is the blue layer for her shirt. This is the burgundy layer for the collar. This layer is for her skin, her bracelet and her necklace, her hair, pupils well that's her outline the pupils of her eyes and her lips okay this would allow you to cut each individual layer in your vinyl okay so if you're using um htv and then i just noticed the whites of her eyes too of course you're not going to see it let me move it over here um You see the whites of her eyes right there. Um, if you're going to put this on a darker color shirt. So it actually did, in fact, separate every individual layer. So um, I'm going to try to piece everything back together. Now, mind you, it's not going to be perfect and exact because I'm not, you know, creating anything with this. I just want to show you, like, if I want to change the pupil of her eyes to green, I've done that. And if you want to do print and cut, this is where you change the colors of everything um, and make sure if you're doing print and cut, you put everything back together, you know, the way it should be. Um, so when you're printing this image, it'll be the way you need it to be. So now we're going to move her skin back. And I actually have a video on my page on how to do uh, one version of this image. So now we're going to put the hair back. We're going to put this top layer of her shirt back. We're going to put the bottom layer of the shirt back. And we put the necklace and the bracelet back. Now, just like I said, if you're doing print and cut with this image, once you've changed the colors of everything and gotten it back together, you're going to drag your mouse over all of the images. And to know that you've got more than one image in here, 
let me blow up so you can see the individual boxes. You see, there's the box for her mouth, the box for her eyes, the box for her shirts. Right click and group. Then this way, when you move it, the whole image goes together. Uh, so I hope you found this video helpful. Again, I'll go over the, the, the biggest things to remember when dealing with an SVG number one, working with the silhouettes cameo. This is what I have. I can't say Cricut or any other, you know, cutting machine. I have a cameo. You've got to have designer or business edition in order for an SVG image to work in Silhouette Studio. If you have the basics, it will not work. You'll just be stuck with using the digital cutting files. That's number one. Number two is how was this image saved? Uh, depending on the designer of the image, if they did not save it to where you can ungroup it, it will not ungroup. I, I just hate to say it, but I've tried before. It will not. Number two, is this a single layer image? You know, just like this, I am an entrepreneur. This is a single layer image, so it's not going to separate versus this prey on it. In the beginning, there were two different layers. So that's something else you got to remember how many layers are in this image, how it was saved. Um, and then whenever you go onto the image, just like I said, you right click it. If you see ungroup is black, that means this image can be grouped. If it's grayed out, you cannot use it. So when you are purchasing your SVGs, make sure you are purchasing from someone who has a good reputation, um, someone who actually knows what they're doing. There's a lot of people selling SVGs that are selling them just because they want to get two or three dollars. Um, I've purchased SVGs before that were no good and I had to turn around and create the image myself. Um, it's a lot of work, but at least I know if I did it, I did it right. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please drop those in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, give me a great big thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that now and hit the notification bell so you'll get notified when I record new videos. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the love. And I am trying to get better with uploading more videos. Um, but that's all I have for right now. And I will be coming back with you later for another video. Thanks and be blessed. Bye.